In a park in West Dublin today, a discarded box of used nitrous oxide canisters, commonly known as laughing gas and produced for industrial and medical purposes, it has become a recreational drug of choice among mainly young people. Inhaling it causes a quick rush and feelings of euphoria lasting up to 30 seconds. But doctors are warning the side effects can be permanent, with presentations to hospital rising. Between mid-July and mid-October in the matter, we saw six patients come through with neurological complications related to the use of nitrous oxide, and that number is going to continue to grow. And the consequences can be severe. Problems maintaining their balance. They start to have issues with regards to their coordination. A lot of our patients, about five out of six of them, were unable to walk independently coming into the matter hospital. Discarded small silver canisters which had contained nitrous oxide had become a common sight in some places in recent years. But now, more increasingly, the gas is being bought in larger, supersized canisters, creating a greater risk if misused. While illegal to sell the products to children or for human consumption, it is easily obtained online. They're being used by young children and young people to, to get a quick high. We need to bring in legislation that's going to be more robust, more going to be tougher. We need to target how people are buying them online. So there needs to be legislation to tackle that. And it also needs to be brought in for people who are engaged in selling these products to young people on the streets. Given the wide availability of laughing gas, Dr Mackin also wants tighter restrictions, such as a complete ban outside of its intended purposes. For Gal O'Brien, RTE News.